Hey kids, welcome to Love Church Kids Online. Topher and I were just about to play a special game. You guys wanna play? Awesome. Topher is gonna make an animal noise and we have to guess what it is. Are you ready? All right, go ahead, Topher. Oh, that's a dog. A cat? Oh, um, is that a snake? That was a hard one. Oh, um, that's a frog. Uh, a horse? Did you guys get that one? Awesome. Uh, a pig? Uh, is that a cow? Alright, one more. <laughs> is that a rooster? Awesome. Did you guys get all of those? Great. Do you guys want to know why we played this special animal game? Well, in today's true Bible story, we're going to learn about a man named Noah. And Noah loved all of God's animals. And God made Noah a special promise. Let's start with worship. Oh, yeah, you can jump around like a rabbit during worship. And you guys can too. Let's go. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. 
I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of foil. I wanna see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you wanna help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> It just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One, two. Oh, there's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. Let's try it again. One, two, three. There. That's a bigger boat. Oh, wait. That's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. Oh, now that's a big, big boat. Whew, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. You built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? Yes, penguins! I love penguins! <laughs> oh, and there are all kinds of other animals, too. Ooh, here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals! Then Noah and his family got on the boat, and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Oh, 
Okay. Well, it rained and it rained, and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. It was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us, and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God told Noah just what to do, and he kept his promise to him, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow, what an awesome story. God was with Noah the whole time, and God always keeps his promises. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, it stopped raining outside after all of this time. I hope I can see a rainbow. I'm gonna go look right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God really does keep his promises. I love remembering that every time I see a rainbow. Don't you? What an awesome God. Let's say our Bible verse together. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Let's do it again. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. All right, Topher and I are gonna go make some really cool rainbow pictures. Maybe you can too. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.